what's going on guys Vinny costa here editor street muscle magazine uh i'm back here again day two holly's mo party and uh, i got a really really killer um vehicle to show you guys so i'm gonna flip the camera around talk to the owner a little bit do a little walk around and uh, i'll let you guys check this thing out bam there it is and owner mr mark coates how are you sir good how are you doing i'm doing well uh, we appreciate you uh, letting us take some photos of your van and um, talk to us about it. Um, can you uh, start with the year, make, and model? Introduce yourself, your name, and uh, what it is you do. Uh, my name is Mark Coates. Uh, I'm in the automotive restoration business. I've been for 30 years this year. Uh, the van belongs to my wife, Dorinda, and uh, it's just something we put together to have fun with. It's awesome, man. Um, it, it stuck out at this show. I think it's the only street van here, and I think it's the only van here. Uh, I don't think I saw any other ones here. I don't think I saw any other ones either. Yeah. So uh, tell us about the van. Um, how long did the restoration take? Uh, what year is it? Uh, where did you find it? All that stuff. Uh, it's, the restoration, we spent about a year and a half on it, uh, spare time. I don't have time to work on my own stuff much, so it took a while. But uh, so it's a 77 Tradesman with all the, all the street van conversion parts are what you could buy over the counter from Chrysler in 1977 in the, the direct connection catalog. That's pretty crazy because this was like the first van that started that whole van craze, right? Like because you could purchase that stuff from yeah, Dodge? Yeah, it was the, kind of the first uh, uh, factory available or dealer available customized van. That's awesome. And so uh, when you talk about the tradesman package, what does that include? Uh, pretty much nothing. <laughs> Tradesman's a street Oh, I'm van. sorry. You're right. The street van package. The street van package on a real street van, you basically got a little bit of extra trim, some nice wheels, and it came with a street van kit in the back of the van, which is basically just a little crate or cardboard box full of templates to do the interior and uh, customizing ideas and stuff oh, like cool. that. Oh, cool. So it actually came with the templates to do the interior. Yeah. That's awesome. And then it came with like the ground effects there, like that air dam and the wheel wells. It did not. That's all available over the counter. Oh, really? Okay. That was available through Chrysler. Awesome, man. Okay. So, well, can you uh, show us the interior? Because that's like really um, uh, the the main attraction. Sure. But actually, before we get there, uh, I want to talk about some of the features here. Because I didn't know this as a as a vanner myself. I didn't know this about these side pipes. So, can you tell us about um, what kind of side pipes those are and like uh, how you have them connected? Those are currently available for Patriot pipes. Um, a lot of people think that they're fakes, but the, the bottom rear tube on the front is connected to the exhaust system. Yeah, that trips me out, man. So you got like the, the front three are uh, faux, but you they this is a functioning exhaust because the, the back um, tube there connects. And there's a muffler. It oh. has a uh, internal glass pack inside the tube, plus I added two um, Dynamax Ultra Flow mufflers to quieten it down some more. Yeah, it sounds nice. It's got a nice low rumble. Um, so uh, tell us about the wheels. You got some Kragers on there. You got, uh, what size are these up here in the front? It's 15 by eight Kragers in the front, uh, 275 50 tire, 15 by 10s in the back with a 305 50. Holy cow, man, you could fit a wide tire up there in the front. That's yeah. awesome. Cool. And then um, did the street van come with the bubble window? No, again, that was available through uh, the parts house through direct connection. They have several styles that you could buy. That's awesome. I like the teardrop. That's cool. So how'd you land on the color? Because um, uh, you said that this is close to the factory? Yeah, it was originally a, a blue that's close to Chrysler B5 blue. But it had a little bit of a green tint in it. And 30-some uh, spray outs later, I arrived with uh, a color that uh, gets rid of the, uh, the little bit of green shade that it had. I just added, wound up just adding some magenta to the factory mix. Gotcha. Very cool. This thing's killer. And uh, so you were saying something about adding a window to the back of these vans turns it from a commercial vehicle to a personal? Yeah, I, I learned that recently that some states um, consider a, one of these vans to be a commercial vehicle. Hmm. And a lot of your uh, guys that used them for whatever would add a porthole or some sort of window in the back, which made it legally a personal vehicle or a passenger car very cool well um i think it's about time we get to the interior i know uh that was like 
I couldn't wait to see what was in here. I know van people, that's like the big thing. Yeah, who cares about an engine if you've got an interior? <laughs> uh, as a matter of fact, we were talking a little bit about the power plant in this thing just a moment ago, and you were saying that underneath this doghouse, you got a uh, 360, right? Yeah, it's a, a, just a stock 360 with a uh, Holly Sniper and HyperSpark system on it, which works great. Yeah, that uh, sniper system, man, um, fuel injection. It's the way of the future. It's awesome makes this thing ultra reliable i'm sure man you got some led lighting up here on top i think there we go <laughs> awesome and then uh you were telling me about this uh, shag carpet that you put in here um where'd you find it and uh you know how, how that whole process worked i found it at lowe's it was a pretty drawn out process to try to find something we liked and uh just happened to be walking through lowe's and saw an area rug that said, that, that said this is it. Awesome. And we found out that they were on clearance nationwide and we bought them all. That's awesome. So, sorry anybody who was looking for these. Yeah. Mark bought them all. That's killer. You got a sound system back here, big bean bag. Did you make this bean bag? No, that bean bag came from a company called Ultimate Sack. That's <laughs> not the biggest one they make. Okay. Ultimate Sack, if you guys are in need of a giant bean bag very cool so you got the swivel seats up front was that uh something that you had to install yourself well they were in it very cool man what a killer van it's a 77 360 no vacancy is that the the name of the van we really haven't really named it yet that's just more to uh keep kids and people out of the back of it when we're <laughs> showing it <the> show <laughs> right that on. may wind up being its name who knows it oh. wasn't but it is now well, Mark, thanks so much for showing us your van. This thing's awesome. Um, we're going to go check out what the rest of the show has in store for us, but we really appreciate your time, man. All right. Thank you, sir. We'll catch you next time, guys. Peace.